And from that moment, we became each other's homes. That's what we would call each other. When McCoy passed in 2020, I was moved to write a personal essay reflecting on his career. I've always felt there's a large portion of jazz critics who never gave McCoy Tyner his due as an artist in his own right and as a band leader. To me, Coltrane's name always comes up a little too quickly. What many don't realize is that traces of McCoy's genius were there before he joined Trey. This is one of McCoy's first recordings with Art Farmer and Benny Golson in 1960, the jazz tip. Even back then, he had his trademark rapid fire articulation thing. We have to speak on McCoy's modal harmony, the way it would later inform the Coltrane Quartet, those ringing intervals in his left hand. The way I use them, use force, and the thing is, I just don't use force, I use uh, other things in conjunction with that. Again, McCoy Tyner from a 1997 interview at Jazz and Lincoln Center. So I would move things around, and if you just use force, force alone, it becomes kind of, a, it's too much of the same thing. So, you know, sometimes you have to do seconds or four, six, fifths, you know, kind of move it around, you know, a little bit and do different things uh, to, this is about sound, that's basically what it's about. That harmonic vocabulary, those are all McCoyisms, basically a new language on this instrument, and it would be widely imitated in modern jazz. That's the greatest honor you could bestow on any artist, is to, uh, do your thing, but yet be inspired by my particular person. So uh, I'm really, really grateful that they find value in what 